tier list with a twist. Cartoon characters I've always wanted to shag. Another genius move. All right. Here we are. I've mixed up the tiers a little bit. As you can see, it's 1 to 10, the bottom being the streets. A lot of the heads have cut off. I don't know what's happened there, but that's not the important bit. Eh? I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Everyone calm down. First up, we have Betty Rubble. So, Betty, you are, I'd say you're a solid. Betty's an 8. Don't care how you cut it. Betty's an 8. She hasn't been used and abused like Wilma. Would you want to go in after Fred? Would you? Ask yourself that. Big rock balls slamming up against her thighs and that. Madness. Here we have, you can recognise them all from the outfits anyway. We've got Daphne from Scooby Doo. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our first 10. Great fashion sense, intelligence, wit, legs. She's the full package. And she solves mysteries for a living. You know, she's out there earning. Dexter's mum from Dexter's lab only ever referred to as mum, I believe. We never find out her name. But look at fucking back on it. We say fucking back on that. But back alone, it's eight. You know, that's back rating. This was before all Kardashians. She's just walking around with that thing. Crazy. Miss is incredible, Elastigirl. Well, 10. I think you all know why. No need to go into that one. Okay, next up, Jessica Rabbit. An obvious choice for most people. It's one of them that's always spoke about. But for me, it's more attractive seeing Dexter's mum with that back in a marigolds running round the bloody place than it is Jessica floating through, puckering up, flickering her eyelashes at you. There's something about it because I'm meant to fan this fancy her. And I thought this as a, even as a kid, I knew this. I'm meant to fancy her. So immediately that switches off. You know what I mean? Like you get the vibe from Betty, for example. You're not meant to fancy Betty. Betty's a housewife. She's a regular gal, but there's something about that. It's like when a teacher, the fittest teacher in school, were never fit. It was the setting. And I would imagine Jessica's been through every cock in fucking Disneyland, so the streets, and that's going to be controversial to a lot of people. And I don't care. Leela. Leela from uh, Futurama. Again. There was something about the one eye that I knew I wasn't meant to find attractive, therefore I did. And it doesn't apply to anything before you all start. Obviously, you know, first one to really, apart from Jessica, a bit too obvious though. But Leela, you know, showing off a bit of cleavage here. You know, we've got a bit of a shape there going on. Leela, if you're watching, call me. Nine. Leela's a nine. All right. Margie, Margie. Margin charge. I've got something you can be in charge of, Marge. There's something about Marge. I don't know if anyone else has seen it. I get it. Maybe I've got mother issues. Marge is fit. Marge is fit. I don't know about the hair. I never have. But there's a few scenes. You know when she gets out of the shower and it's all long and down? And you think, well, there's nothing wrong with that, honey. Marge is a seven and a half because of the hair choices. And the wardrobe. Pocahontas. Yeah, another delightful character. Beautiful face. Shame it's cut off here. Ah, uh, but the rig is just as good. Seven? Eight. Because she's inexperienced, new to the world, and I reckon I could teach her a thing or two. A thing or two she'd like, and I'll leave it there. So there you have it, my rundown of the sexiest cartoon characters. Hope you agree. Hope you don't. We should all have our own opinion on these things. It's important. <laughs> Would you want to go in after Fred? Would you? Ask yourself that. Big rock balls slamming up against her thighs and that. 